And they'll start with a flea flicker. They want the big play in Switzer. All alone at midfield. A trick play for the Heels. And it's a touchdown. We were watching tape yesterday, Bob, and you said to me, as active as these safeties are, do they get a little nosy sometimes? Well, they do, and that time it's DeAndre Singleton, fourth leading tackler on this crew, but they have to get tackling out of their secondary. Play action over the middle. It's a hookup with Quinch. They're all on the same page. It's a linebacker. Amazing. Williams, wheel route down the sideline, wide open, T.J. Logan. He's got a step to the 10, and he's brought down at about the five-yard line. Devon Edwards saved the touchdown. First and goal, Carolina at the four. Keep your eyes on number three in motion. There goes Ryan Switzer. Instead, quarterback run and a walk-in for Marquise Williams. Another touchdown for North Carolina. And he now breaks the record. All-time 80 touchdowns responsible for in his career with the heels and guess who they run behind get that movement man run right behind your big fellas the right guard landon turner 330. play action again for williams floats it to the sideline drops it in perfectly another big of those two defenders let me take advantage by getting you a little too nosy breaking a tackle of switzer hurdles his way inside the first frame would be devastating and they do. Another touchdown. Elijah Hood makes it three scores in three possessions for North Carolina. And you could see the wonderful block there by Bentley Spain. That left tackle, that sophomore. Gosh, what are we? TJ Logan down the sideline. That's another first 12 yards for playing it off a face mask penalty. He's a physical kid. Throws across his body here into traffic. Wonderful composure. And well protected here. Down the sideline. Holding out of the football again is Bug Howard. He takes another shot and comes up with a catch as Devon Edwards leveled him. Right. Great concentration again. And, and once again, look at the over-aggressiveness of that Duke secondary. They are just flying. You see the swing route in front. Safety is late. Has to have some awareness there if you're single to get your head around. You have a chance to make a play on the ball right now. This Check on the Duke defense again. Great field position for North Carolina. Going to work and finding his man, Matt Collins, is Mark Reese Williams. Two possession game. And this time, Weiler is good. Out to the 26-yard line for Carolina. Play action for Williams. He wants the bomb again. It's there. On time. Matt Collins. Touchdown. What a tremendous half of football for Seth Luttrell. Larry Fedora and his offensive team, they have had just the feeling and the philosophy that we will not step off the gas pedal. Matt Collins is a big playmaker. Now 15 touchdown receptions, and this isn't very fancy. This isn't some rub route. This is a one-on-one -on -one against a true freshman, and Matt Collins, the fastest player on this offense, just simply runs right by the freshman McDuffie. That's a former walk-on. Matt Collins from Rockville, Maryland. He spent every day as a freshman back in 2012 on the Jugs Gun, catching about 100 balls a day. And for a walk-on, it paid off as he got a clean release past McDuffie off the line. Well, if you've got great speed, you've got to do two things. You've got to win off the ball, as you saw there. And McDuffie falling off the linebacker coach here, and he's got that back seven playing really good football, making it difficult. When you make a mistake, they make you pay. You don't want to take the foot off the gas pedal. You'd think you might just want to run out the half, but... You know what? You're 15 miles away, and I got your number. He's looking for the bomb again. It's another touchdown to Bug Howard. Are you kidding me?
You're not going to see many quarterbacks in college football play a better half than Marquise did. 404 yards passing. Shot after shot after shot down the field. Against the Duke crew, I will remind you, was number 10 in the country in scoring defense, number 8 in pass defense at 166, and number 9 in total defense at 295. And the Tar Heels shredding, shredding this group up. They press the accelerator in a second. They do, but I think you do want to start eating up that clock. Williams, a first down pitch and catch with Mac Collins. Four-man rush. Long throw up against the sideline, wide open, Mac Collins. Right now that I have not seen, this is the best game on tape he has ever played. It just gets easier and easier for North Carolina. A touchdown run for Elijah Hood. And Duke has been demoralized defensively. Last week was tough. Last week you win a game if you're Duke. That's your game. It's a blown call. You can get over that. Much more than I think even a week ago, Will. On the defense, Middleton has declined. The extra point is good. Would have been unheard of a decade ago. Play action for Marquise Williams. Up the seam in stride. Matt Collins, another big play. And only going up a game. Williams looking end zone again. Bobbled, caught, Carolina touchdown. Quinshot Davis gets into the end. The 23rd touchdown catch of Quinshot Davis's career. Matt Collins is the speed, Ryan Switzer is the quickness, and Quinshot Davis is just the pro. The guy that, like Marquise Williams, has been here and he's done it. He owns every record in the receiving crew, and he knows how to use his big body. That game 45 to 20. He knew that they'd have to be much sharper than this. To the goal line, once again, it's Elijah Hood. And once again, it's a North Carolina touchdown. In their passing game, I think a lot of folks knew they could run it. If you watch the tape, Hood's been running through arm tackles all season long. Looks pretty obvious he falls into the end zone. We're taking a second look at it. Why? <laughs> Experience. You got to be at your best when it matters the most to your program here in November. I wonder if maybe down on the sideline, Larry Fedora heard what we were talking about because that takes probably just further infuse those guys with more confidence and belief. Quick strike right up the seam. 669 yards on Duke today. And 11 different Carolina players have caught a pass. There goes Prohl in motion. A keeper for Trubisky. Touchdown. That same play we saw earlier, the first touchdown run that Marquise Williams had, and we highlighted the big right guard, Landon Turner, just blowing up the outside force support. Maybe not quite the same kind of collision from Brad Henson, but the same kind of effect there. This Carolina just cannot be stopped or slowed, whether it's Williams, whether it's Trubisky, whether it's guys that are on the flip card, not even on the depth chart. Just a dominant afternoon for the guys in, in baby blue. Well, the crowd with one more chance to celebrate for the 23rd time in the last 26 years. They ring the victory bell for a North Carolina win. A dominant performance. 704 yards of total offense for UNC. And they walk away with a 66-31 win over Duke. For Brock Hewitt and Shannon Spade, I'm Bob Wachusen. Let's send it back to College Football Scoreboard.